When you receive an offer on your home, your realtor will review all the terms of the offer with you. There will be a response deadline, so time is of the essence to respond in writing to the buyer. In this video, I'm going to review some of the terms you can expect to see in the purchase contract. First off, the sales price the buyer wants to pay will be written into the offer. A lot of people think that this is the most important part of the offer, but that's not always the case. The buyer could also ask for closing cost assistance, also known as seller concessions. I've seen this amount be as high as $30,000. So just because the price may look attractive in the offer, as a seller, you really want to look at the net offer. If there's an HOA, they charge additional fees when a house is sold. Who pays these fees is also part of the offer and it would be deducted from your net proceeds at closing. The buyer may also want to purchase a home warranty for the house and they may ask you as the seller to pay for the warranty. You can expect this to cost anywhere from $500 to $1,000 depending on the home warranty company used and the coverage chosen. The earnest deposit amount is also an important part of the offer. The earnest deposit shows the buyer has some skin in the game and in the event the buyer cancels for any reason other than what's allowed in the contract, the seller would most likely keep that earnest deposit. Your realtor can give you some insight as to how much the earnest deposit should be. It really does depend on the market you're located in and the current market conditions. Buyers will also select their desired closing date and whether or not they want to keep the refrigerator, washer, dryer, and which title company they like to use. There's also a blank section on the offer for any additional terms the buyer wants to write into the contract. So pretty much anything could be written in there. The purchase contract has standard language and then the items I've discussed are written in. However, everything is negotiable. Even if something is already pre-printed into the contract, it's always possible to change the terms. It's important to not only review the items discussed, but also you'll want to read over the entire contract. There are several important pieces to the standard contract, such as items that are supposed to stay with the property and all the contingencies that would allow a buyer to back out of the contract. There's information about the inspection period and so much more. You'll want to ensure you're working with a realtor or team who has experience and really knows the ins and the outs of the contract. And remember, everything is negotiable. So if there's any terms you don't agree with, you have the option to send the buyer a counter offer. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're looking for a realtor in Arizona, you can reach out to me on Instagram or online at theforkandbrockgroup.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and send this to a friend who's thinking about selling their home.